Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you all to a new video. So uh today we're gonna to be talking about NBA 2K21 as well as the PlayStation 5 reveal. Now, if you guys live under a rock and you didn't know about this, I'm sorry that, that you know you're one of those people, but welcome, you know what I mean? But uh let's go ahead and hop right straight into everything. I don't want to talk about nothing until you guys see it. So let's get into the video. Oh, by the way, sales squad jerseys are on sale right now. Link in the description on the merch shelf. Let's get into the vid. All right, so what we're going to end up doing is we're going to watch it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to speak. I'm not going to do anything. You guys are going to listen to all the audio. And then after that, we'll run it back, slow-mo or whatever the case may be, because we are watching this off of YouTube. And then after we do that, we'll hop into the PlayStation 5 hardware reveal. But uh, I got, got a couple things to say about 2K, man. So let's go ahead and get into it. What's up, everyone? I'm Zion Williamson of the New Orleans Pelicans. Here we go. The first ever teaser for NBA 2K21. Y'all are not ready for this. so uh yeah um that was it that's all we get but um just to let you guys know i had to turn off certain audio because youtube be tripping you know what i mean 2k always playing copyrighted music so after the first initial sp speaking and all that that's why you heard that weird music but uh what we're gonna do is we're just gonna watch it back um let's see let me turn it down to uh let's see playback speed let's go to 0.25 so the one thing like usually when 2k is dropping information you know what i mean whether it's a reveal whether it's a cover athlete you know anything they're always trying to drop easter eggs you know what i mean like they're they're huge on this whole easter egg effect so what i was trying to do was i was trying to make sure that i wasn't missing nothing so you know what i mean let's let's go ahead and watch it back slowly um you know what i mean this point point twenty five speed is it's pretty slow like man you know what let me uh Speed it up a little bit, jeez. All right, point five. All right. So, uh, first thing is the gym that they come into. Like, I was trying to look for any type of like signs or anything like that. I see there's a flag right there. The lighting is mad distorted. You really can't notice too much. But I was trying to notice anything I possibly could. So it wasn't really nothing that can be given to you from there. Um, the, the mannerisms, the movements and stuff like that. A lot of people going to say that, you know, it looked like NBA live, you know what I mean? Because, you know, when you look at NBA live, uh, you know, their players kind of had that, you know what I mean? That, that slow bop to them, the, the, the slow movements, the, the realism. So I'm glad that 2k is kind of adding that to their game this year where players actually are hopefully going to move the way they're supposed to move because you ever remember when you used to be like on a mock court or whatever or even in a game like in a shoot around and when your player catches the ball he's doing all this and you, you know what i mean like don't like like players don't really be doing all that you know what i mean they just make small simple movements and stuff like that especially with the ball um, one thing I could tell you guys, the, the more sweat, man, it's all about more sweat, right? You know what I mean? Always about more sweat. Let's, let's, let's talk about the sweat, man. The sweat is, sweat is insane. You guys seen it here, but, um, I do like the way that 2k tried to add that whole little CGI effect and try to tell us that this is pre alpha, you know what I mean? Footage. But I feel like this is, this is literally like just him in a little mocap session doing a couple of his like setup moves and stuff like that. 
But I was just making sure that he wasn't traveling when doing some of these moves because we all know in NBA 2K20, traveling is like very common to see. You know what I mean? Now, you notice they, they trying to show off like the, the knee movements and stuff like that as he's dribbling the ball. You know what I mean? Now, we all know more sweat. <laughs> that's that's what it's always about, man. More sweat. And yes, they got the sweat dripping this time. Off the lip. Yeah. <laughs> 2K, you shut the <laughs> 2K, you shout out, yo. You gonna have the sweat dripping off my man. Whole sh yo, come on, man. Y'all know what y'all doing, man. Y'all trying to get people hype with sweat. I know what y'all doing. You're gonna want everybody to face scan. Had a player sweating, people doing slow playbacks, so they sweat dripping. Come on, 2K, I know what you're doing, man. But uh, I wanted to see if I could see any realism in his eyes, but I really didn't see too much realism. Like right there, right? When he looked like, let me, let me back it up a little bit. When he looked one way, like, look, he looking one way for the hezzy and then goes the way that he's going. You know what I'm saying? So maybe you can see a little bit of realism there. Like, I guess it was like looking off somebody. Now, look here, right? So, one dribble, catch, one, two, and take off. That's what really matters to me. As long as players are not traveling this year, the gathers aren't insane, I'm happy to see that. And also, the emotion that Zion has as he's dunking it, that's really dope. You know what I mean? They're bringing back those those um emotion animations i guess you can call them from a few years back because i remember in in one 2k when you used to dunk the ball you used to be very emotional as you were dunking the ball like you would when you would go up your mouth would be open like you know what i mean and stuff like that like this year i really didn't see that too much you know what i mean like i really seen like players having that look on their face like just looking up in the air as they was like dunking on somebody you know what i mean but hopefully they bring that back and of course his patented scream you know what i mean which looks very real. I'm hoping that, you know what I mean, our my players are able to do that because, come on, that's what we really worry about the most. We really worry about our my players doing the same things that some of these NBA players do. You know what I'm saying? Some realism to it. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, move on, man. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got for 2K, bro. For the next thing in the video, I wanted to show you guys the PlayStation 5 reveal. So uh, this is what the hardware is going to look like. That, um, that comes with a webcam, remote, controller, charging station, headset, and it comes with a digital edition and a normal version. So let's go ahead and look into it. All right, so when I was watching this on stream, I was like, oh, it's pretty crazy. Like, I would, I would wanna hop into the lava, but then it started zooming out. And then you get this. So yeah, um, this is gonna be the white PlayStation 5. Now, a lot of people on Twitter have already been roasting this joint, calling it a gaming router. But I just want anything that doesn't sound like a jet engine lifting off. That's all I ask for. Just don't be a jet engine lifting off for me, man. Now, you do notice that it comes with a few buttons, USB ports and stuff like that. I wanted like the whole 360. Like I need to see what's on the back. I need to see everything, you know what I mean? But it's just showing a little sleek design, a little charging port on the front. You know what I mean? Nothing too crazy. And I think that is a USB-C port on the front as well you know what i mean now check this out that's the disc version right regular playstation 5 white joint is is fire i ain't even gonna cap i don't even think i want a black one i think i want the white playstation 5 just from the look of it it looked crazy that white blue and black is major but they're not done you know what i'm saying they, they want to show you a little bit more here you know what i'm saying of course you know you got the little sony branding on the uh the inner lip of the top you know what I'm saying? It, I ain't gonna cap though, it do look like a router. It definitely look like a router, I ain't gonna cap. But, they do have the digital version. So, if you're one of them people that never goes to GameStop to buy a disc, never goes to Best Buy, never goes to Walmart, always downloads the games from the console, from the PlayStation Store, the digital version definitely gonna be for you. But it doesn't stop there though, you know what I mean? The concept, I like the sleek look on the digital, but I don't know, man. I get a I get a lot of games from companies because they be just shipping me games. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the, the non-disc version, you feel me? 
But um, of course they call it the dual sense wireless controller now. Got the dual sense charging station, which I'll probably be copying. The HD camera, I'm not gonna get the camera. The Pulse 3D wireless headset, I'm definitely not gonna cop. You know what I'm saying? I, I stay with the Astros on me. And it comes with a media remote. I'm hoping that, you wanna know what's crazy? I'm hoping that the media remote is not something you have to buy separately. You know how stuff always say sold separately? I hate that, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna give me a media controller, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and give me a media remote, bro. Like, come on, don't do this to me. You know what I'm saying? Don't make me buy all these extra little things, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, this is how things are stacking up. You know what I'm saying? PlayStation 5, you got your DualSense controller, you got your regular PlayStation 5, your digital edition, your headset, your remote, charging station, and the HD camera. Now, it's funny to me that they're not calling it the PlayStation Cam. They call it the HD Cam. Maybe it's the HD Cam for PlayStation 5. Not sure. But that right there, I believe, is the end of the show. You know what I mean? Like, we hope you know, you. this dude, he was ending up talking about like, oh, you know, we want to thank you for coming out and all that. By the way, no price has been announced. No release date has been announced. And also, 2K did not announce a release date. It just said fall 2020. So that's a big takeaway from uh, this video that they're not releasing dates yet. You know what I mean? A lot of like companies are not sure when they're going to drop. I believe PlayStation didn't drop the price for their console because they want to wait to see what Xbox is going to do on their reveal date. I guarantee you that PlayStation is so petty that they'll drop the price the day that Xbox does. Xbox will say, hey, ours is $500. Sony going to come in like, ours is 400 you know what I'm saying? If I, any, I, I promise you, if, if Xbox say 550, five. Oh, Xbox 400? 350. <laughs> I promise you, bro. Like, yo, I bet you they're so petty to say if Xbox says, hey, our console is going to be $500, $499.99, no tax, free shipping. Yo, I'm, I'm telling you, they're super petty, yo super petty but listen i want to thank you guys for watching this video man make sure you guys hit that like button uh also don't forget sales squad merch link in the description link in the chat um i'm gonna holla at you guys in the next one shout out to everybody who showed up to the stream for the ps5 reveal event thank you guys so much i'm gonna holla at you on the next one man peace